and we will be ready to go. One second, let's see, share. All right, so anyway, I am Close that down. Oops, there we go. There I go, broadcasting myself over my broadcast. Um, hi, everyone. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. My name is Tina Hewerman, and um, I am a brand ambassador, a consultant <laughs> with a natural product line that we found last December. And I'm so excited to share. Um, you know, this company did not have Fulvic between, before our team arrived. And we worked very hard with the leaders of this company. Shout out to Will and Marcus and Landy and Michelle, and of course, Paula and Alexandria for listening to our pleas in bringing fulvic acid on and to everyone else in the company that's been blessed by this product that we don't have any association with we're just so happy that we're able to change your lives either it's in your health or in your finances so thank you thank you thank you for believing in us thank you for believing in fulvic and i'm so glad that you're getting the benefits that you love so much from it jody and i have been friends since elementary school and she shares the same passion as I do for natural health and um, ways to support the body um, with products that are plant-based, which is what Alexandria and Paula are all about. It's plants, not pills here with this company. And um, Jody is a microbiologist and she used to work at a local hospital here in the laboratory um, with, with um, sorry, in, in the laboratory with, with cellular stuff. Like this is science stuff, you're the geek. <laughs> I'm gonna let you talk a little bit more about that. But she was a medical laboratory scientist with a degree in microbiology. She is a laboratory coordinator. She is an unlimited breath practitioner. And let me tell you, I've had two sessions with her and they are absolutely amazing. If you don't know what a breath practitioner is, you can reach out to her. She's an integrated energy therapy master instructor. Like I didn't know this. Uh, and she's a health and nutritional coach. And one of the things that I love about Jody, Jody is um, very passionate about this product line. She's very passionate about helping people change their lives. Um, but we've been working on limiting beliefs and stretching her uncomfortable zone that is where the growth happens. And so I'm so honored for her to be able to teach me and I get to teach her. And she's like, I would love to do a live sometime <laughs> my passion right jody yes yeah absolutely so her leadership and self-development has been beautiful to watch and i can't wait to see where she goes from here what would you like to add about to anything with that intro um maybe a few little personal tidbits about sure. me, me and my journeys but first of all tina i want to thank you for having me here today because it's so exciting to be on this adventure with you um, but yes, a little bit about me. I am a grandma. Um, I'm a mom and a wife, and I, I really have always been interested in health, you know, hence my 32 plus, actually more like 38 years in healthcare. Um, so I've worked in various settings in the healthcare setting in the hospitals and clinics. So I really feel like that's giving me kind of a roundabout um, education and view of how healthcare works. Um, yeah, so, you know, for decades, you know, I've really just kind of, you know, you flow through life, we're on this journey, and, um, you know, we have young kids, and life takes over, and it gets busy, you know, we don't really get to take care of ourselves, ourselves but I've actually always been really um, interested in health. I have a few health conditions of my own. Um, I was diagnosed with a seizure disorder at a young age, which meant a lifetime of medication. And as a result of that, my son was born with a spinal defect. Um, and then at age uh, 46, after some routine physical labs, I received that phone call that nobody wants to receive, that something was wrong. So I was sent to oncology for further diagnosis and a bone marrow. And at this point in my life, I was really already on a path, path of holistic and alternative healing. So I declined the chemotherapy and sunk everything into healing my body naturally. So I went really deep 
Um, and you know, that was eight years ago, but looking back now, I can see the transition and, and the buildup of the issues that we have, you know, in our life, a little diagnosis here, or, or maybe a little ailment there, you know, we can see as these things add on and add on digestion issues, all those things throughout our life, um, add on until we get that, you know, chronic illness diagnosis, you know, so there are things that we can do along the way you know, to help us um, so that we don't end up like that. So that has been my passion and my journey is really to help other people to um, realize that they have a choice. And if they want to end up with that, that chronic illness, or whether they want to take uh, control of their, their health. That was a long little intro. Sorry. No, that was perfect. And I love that <laughs> meme that follows uh, that, 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 uh, lands on my Facebook feed every now and then that says invest. Um, I don't like it when it goes to this. Let me go to Help. Yeah, there we go. Um, invest in your health now or invest in your sickness later or something. Exactly. In fact, I can't remember what it is. Um, but uh, so I'm excited. So you worked at a local hospital here in Des Moines. Right. And you worked in the lab in the, the blood area. Do you want to talk? Yeah. About, let me t explain to me what that means. Well, so actually, I was very fortunate when I started out in my early 20s that I was a generalist, which meant I worked in every department in the, in the clinical laboratory, you know, from drawing the blood all the way to processing um, and things that would come in for microbiology, which is what my degree is in. You know, we would take, you know, um, if the physician had a swab or a piece of tissue or whatever they removed in surgery, um, that an infected, diseased, uh, damaged tissue, then we would um, plate that and grow that out. And what we are looking for there is bacteria, bacteria that um, are causing the situation. So, um, you know, there are hundreds and hundreds of bacteria and viruses that we carry around in our bodies all day, every day. Some of those we need. Um, they're not virulent enough, which means that they're not going to cause us disease or sickness. Um, we kind of live in a commensal environment. Uh, we, we benefit off each other, actually. But sometimes, you know, they get, they get out of control and we have an infection or a cellulitis or something like that. Um, some of those bacteria live in an oxygen environment, which is what our body is, but some of them live without oxygen. And those are the scary ones if we have those infecting our body, because that means we've got an area in our body that is not oxygenated. So at the cellular level, we should have oxygen in all of our cells. So that's, that's what really has turned me on to um, this company in the fulvic acid as well is, is maintaining that good, healthy oxygen um, at the cellular level. Did I answer that question? You, you did answer that question. Okay. So, you know, there's all kinds of other gory stuff in the lab too, but. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure you've seen a lot and, and it's gotta be so hard when you do see that, that sample come across your death, desk. Yeah. And yeah. you can look at that and pretty much diagnose the outcome for, for the patient, not knowing the patient, because I'm sure it's just a number because of HIPAA. Right. Um, right. Looking at that and knowing, you know, and you being the natural person that you are can probably tell what their life choices were even, you know, for, for some of that. Um, right. So how does an area of the body become unoxygenated? What happens? Well, lots of things. And actually, Tina, you had a great post a while back that actually talked about all the different ways that um, we can end up in that state of lack. Um, but, you know, let me backtrack a little bit and say that one of the advantages I had working on the clinic side of healthcare, where I would actually see patients would come into the lab so I could see them. And some of them we would call frequent flyers because they were in all the time. Yeah. And those are the ones with chronic issues. And the thing that amazed me about this was you could take someone who was uh, 40 years old with 10 to 20 years of chronic issues, and you would swear they were 60 or 70. Um, the, the toll that is taken on their body. Um, then again, you could take someone that's 40 years old, 
very active, very, you know, in tune to their body and very health conscious, and they could compete with the 20 year olds, you know, so what is that difference? And that's kind of leading into what you just asked is how do you get there? Well, you know, you're diagnosed with an issue and then it becomes, you know, really a personal journey for you, a choice for you to make when you get that diagnosis of how you're going to proceed. You know, our mental state and our brain are um, very powerful, you know, so our thoughts create our reality. So for those people that get that diagnosis and they choose to let that identify them and they choose to um, sort of lay down and just let whatever happens, happens. Those are those ones that are 40 years old that look like they're 70. Mm -hmm. And it's a constant depletion on their body, you know, and with that comes they just fall into this um, trench of, you know, they're on medications and they become less active and it's a vicious cycle of eating junk and it, it just snowballs. So, you know, at the cellular level, you know, our cells need certain nutrients. They need those to survive. And if we don't provide those through good nutrition, through, you know, not putting chemicals on our bodies, um, you might as well, if you, if you can't eat them, you don't put them on your body. You know, we don't have good water uh, source. So make sure you have good water source and our air is contaminated. So all of these things, um, they, they clog up our cells. You know, the cell wall is permeable. That means things can move in and out of it, but they, all those little holes in there where all of our oxygen and nutrition should be coming in they get plugged up with all of this gunk. Pharmaceuticals is another one. You know, all of those things come in and they plug up our cells. We can't get the nutrients in that we need. Even though maybe now um, you're taking care of yourself, but in the past you didn't, those cells are still clogged. You've still got to get those cleaned out. So you can be taking all the supplements you want and eating as healthy as you, you can. Um, but if our cells aren't healthy, that nutrition is not getting into those cells and the oxygen is not getting into those cells. So the oxygen is a must. It, oxygen is needed for every function of our body. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, super important to, to get that flow, you know, and so talking of oxygen, we breathe, right? So we should be getting oxygen that way. But if we can just take a minute right now and focus on your breath, you know, and how are you breathing? You know, are you breathing shallow? Are you breathing deep? Are we breathing through our mouth or, or our nose? Are we slouching? You know, are we kind of hunched over? Um, you know, and yeah, we're sitting here watching this, we're on the computer, so, you know, we sort of kind of downregulate, but check in several times throughout the day to see how we are breathing. Because, you know, if we really paid attention, we're, we're not breathing enough. You know, we breathe just enough so we don't, you know, pass out or something, but, you know, right. we don't breathe enough as it is. There are some times where I crawl into bed and my husband's like, why are you panting? <laughs> and it's so weird. And I don't know if any of you do this. <laughs> But when it's dark and I'm going up the steps, I hold my breath. Uh, okay. I why. Uh, and, but I get into, into bed and I'm like, you know, right. so, so right. what is, let's, let's talk oxygen as like a physical form. And then we'll get into the benefits of fulvic and how that helps here in a second. Um, but what do you suggest people do? Like, is it hourly every 15 minutes? Because I know I'm not cognizant of my breathing. Right. Um, yeah. I mean, we've got a couple um, questions in the, okay. in the chat too, that we're going to get to. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, really, I, I mean, if you want to set an alarm, that would be great to, to have it ding every hour. Just, just check in, you know, just really just to check in. Um, and especially like you just said, you, you hold your breath. There are certain times that we hold our breath fear. We hold our breath. That's an, our natural response, you know, um, so those kinds of things, and you mentioned earlier, I, I can't remember the term you, you used, but you know, um, stuck emotions, traumas, that's what you said. I can't remember how you, how you worded that, but unresolved traumas, 
Mm -hmm. um, you know, all of those, all those moments that do that to us, the, you know, those get stuck. Those are emotions. Those do get stuck at the cellular level as well. True. Um, right. And so they're stuck in there with all the other gunk that's in there. And so, you know, breath work, number one, can get released some of those, but phobic as well as a lot of people that have started phobic have an emotional release towards the beginning. It's it's releasing some of that stuff that we keep stuck stuck inside. We keep it nice and tucked away in there so nobody can see. Yes, <laughs> yes. Okay, so um, if, if you guys are up for that challenge, set an alarm every 60 minutes on your phone, check in with your mind. What are your thought processes? Are you saying positive thoughts about yourself? If you're not, right. give yourself some good feedback. Exactly. What have you done in this last hour? Well, I did the breath work an hour ago, so I'm proud of myself. I, you know, enrolled a new partner. I reached out to 20 people to say, hey, are you interested in learning more about phobic? Check in with yourself mentally, physically. What's your posture like? Are your shoulders back? Is your diaphragm open? Take that deep breath and feel that go all the way through your system. Exactly. Right? Every yeah. hour, if you do that every hour, you're going to become a habit of good intention within your body. And you're going to have that posture. You're going to have that good oxygenation. So let's get back to that dirty little cell that has been right. permeated and right. filled with um, acidic, toxic, ox lack of oxygen. It's just this, it's this, it's one step before that C word that I can't stand. Right. Right. Yes. Yes. So yeah. what do we do? We've got fulvic acid. How is that going to kind of get that out of there and, and make that what's what's next? Well, you know, I mean, first of all, our bodies are amazing because they really, really try to um, function at the basic level when they have to. Um, and they have to when all of our cells are full of all of that crap, you know, so those processes can start to shut down. Maybe our hair doesn't grow. Maybe our nails don't grow or or maybe our menstrual cycles are off. You know, um, those are signs that we are we are super, super congested. So the great thing about fulvic is um, it's a very, very small particle, but it has the ability has the ability to cross the blood brain barrier, which is huge, yes. um, a huge plus. Um, but it can get into the cell. It has the ability to get into the cell through all of the junk, not only get into the cell, but it can bring like, is it 70 times its weight in nutrients into the cell. So if we're eating a good, nice, um, nutritious, organic diet and taking good, good quality supplements like HBN has, you know, it can bring all of that stuff into the cell and kind of how I like to, um, say I'm, I'm kind of a visual person. So I just figure I have this ball, that's my cells and fulvic is carrying all these, all the good guys in and they just kind of boot the bad guys out. So not only can it bring in all those nutrients, but it, it's a great detoxifier and it can detoxify and, and sort of wash those cells clean. You know, when we've had decades of um, damage, it's going it, it could take a while and, and it, it comes off in layers. So people will say things like, you know, yes, I was emotional when I started taking fulvic or maybe I got a skin rash or, you know, or, but I am sleeping better. You know, my memory is sharper. You know, I have a lot of energy. I've been hearing a lot of that lately with the powder that's out, you know, people are like the energizer bunny. Right. So, you know, Jet it's fuel. a great, <laughs> what's that? jet fuel like this yes powder, this it's... powder that we just launched is jet fuel like i've got so much mental clarity like i feel i feel like my um like my cells are singing the hallelujah chorus yeah i've had great yeah. before but this is this is unmatched anything i've i've taken it's 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 phenomenal. amazing mm -hmm. it's amazing you know, and I don't know if, if you guys remember, you know, in our high school days, we learned about the mitochondria of the cell, which is the powerhouse of the cell. And that's where our energy comes from. And when our cell is clogged up, the little powerhouse, they're just drowning in there. So yeah. that fulvic gets in there to that mitochondria. And yeah, so your energy is, is through the roof. And you know, what I've noticed really is my stamina. 
I mean, I get up in the morning and at, and at 10 or 11 o'clock at night, I am not ready to go to bed. I still want to be productive and get things done. So it's, it's amazing. Yeah. And, and a lot of you, you know, Jody shared her story in the beginning and a lot of you don't know me. Um, I see a lot of new faces on here um, from different teams within the company. Um, and it's been shared quite a few times. Um, but um, I lost my mother to cancer in 2017, and I made it my mission to save another daughter from burying her mother. She was my best friend, called me every morning at 6.30, um, was there for every tragedy and victory I've ever experienced in life and was my biggest cheerleader. When I was a cheerleader, mm -hmm. there were, what, 2,500 kids in my high school? And you could hear my mother yelling for <laughs> me as a cheerleader <laughs> in the entire football stadium, right? And so losing her was absolutely yeah. horrendous for me. And so finding products that I know could have supported her journey in a healthy way right? in order to have her longer in my life has become my mission. And having people like Jody and Megan and Dan, Marcus, you know, we've got so many amazing leaders in this company that we can bounce ideas off that give us feedback, give us correction, you know, work things out and, and be able to spread this message of mine, you know, to the masses. There are people in this company that, that like I said, I don't even know that are sharing fulvic acid so vicariously my mission is is working through them and having someone like Jody, a microbiologist, um, trust me, trust the product, trust the company and understand at the cellular level. You guys, we can't live without cells. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, balances the pH within the cells, removes toxins at 60 times its weight, increases um, nutrient absorption at 60 times its weight increases oxygen by 45%. If you take a multivitamin off the counter, you're probably taking something that's not as good as something that we have here, which is called Nourish. It's a bioavailable. Vitamins don't work without minerals, right, Jody? Can you speak on that just a little bit? Yes, I can. I can. Well, and what I guess I want to say is that earlier in the in the talk, I said, you know, our cells require specific things in a specific form. And, and again, since I'm a visual person, how I explain this to people is like, let's say our cells need the entire alphabet all in capital letters, Roman times font 10. That is what they require to survive. When you're getting um, supplements, you might be getting the, first of all, it's a lab made. So it's not compatible right. with our body you know, it's not the capital C that our body needs. It's a different form. So our body has to figure out, oh my gosh, what is this? And what do I do with this? I can't use this. And so they, they throw it off to, you know, our fat cells or our tissues or our organs, because that's where we store all of the stuff that our body can't utilize. Yeah. We can't keep it in our blood. It's too toxic, you know? Mm -hmm. So that, that was another thing is when we, when you talk, talk negative talk and we look at ourselves in the mirror and we might say oh my gosh you know I'm I'm fat I don't like my body image thank those fat cells because they are protecting us that's where we get to put all the crap that our body can't use and without our body doesn't know what to do with so thank those lovely things for protecting us yes absolutely <laughs> yeah. um so uh, I don't ever like to keep people for longer than 30 minutes. We're coming up on that real close. Um, your time is extremely valuable. And if you yes. were on this call today, Jody and I can't thank you enough because our passion is educating. Right. And um, I'm, I'm seeing some amazing things. What does it taste like? It tastes like a refreshing, um, you know, uh, the, the bottle is like a smoky salt flavor. The liquid it that's how it tastes mm -hmm. to me the liquid does not have a flavor to me at all right. it's just very refreshing it's like my cells are singing the hallelujah chorus mm -hmm. when i take a drink of it um megan had a question let me get back here did your scientific background get you into breath work no no <laughs> it was your diagnosis nope. it was your health scare my you... diagnosis was was a blood cancer yeah. 
And I can say that, right? Because it was my diagnosis. Yes, yeah. you can say that. And they offered me two um, chemotherapy treatments for that, two, two different, you know, medication-wise to take. And, and I, I refused those and, you know, went my own route. Well, and, and, you know, there are dangers in that. And so we don't want to ever encourage. Right, right, exactly. A right. lot of research. Um, but, right. you know, I know yes. several people that start out on an anxiety pill. They get side effects from that. Maybe it's inflammation because your body can't process those mm -hmm. lab made chemicals, right? Stores it in the fat cells. You get inflammation right. from the free radicals that are coming off of that. Fulvic is a free radical scavenger, um, which leads you to an anti-inflammatory medication that could raise your um, sugar levels, that could affect your kidneys, that could affect your pancreas, which leads you to another medicine, which then you know can affect your thyroid, which leads you to another medicine. I was talking to a gal, I think it was you, Jody, that has a friend that was at a health conference and the, the, the suggestion from the pharmaceutical company is five pills by the age of 50. Was that you mm -hmm. that shared that with me? Um, no, but I know that statistic. Yeah, yeah, that is yes, yes. So if you're 50 yeah. years old and your doctor has you on five or more pills, they're a part of the system with, right. with the pharmaceuticals. If you're on five pills by the age of 50, you need to take a look at some natural alternatives that can complement your journey and right. hopefully decrease the medicine that you're taking. Right. right? It's not condemnation. Yeah. It's it's education that we just want to provide right. so that you know. Like Jody, there are ways that that you can have that healthier life. Right. If you think right. you're in perfect health right now, and you're eating processed foods. You're using shampoos, conditioners, household cleaners um, that have toxins in them. They're building up inside of you, and they're going right. to jump out like Jack of the Box and say, "Boo! Here I am. Here's what you've been giving me all this time." Right. Right. Yep. So you want to avoid that. Right. And it's, you know, it's in our society um, in, in the medical realm, I guess I, I know of it from being in the medical realm, but, you know, when you talked about five medications by the time you're 50, it's also, you know, just this trajectory that we have in our society that we're all going to be diabetic. We're all going to have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, you know, metabolic syndrome. That's the direction that we're all heading in and in, in there. It's, it's made, makes us feel like we don't have a, an option. This is just what's going to happen to me in my life. And and I'm kind of like a kid, you know, just, just fighting my way out. And I no, we have alternatives. We have things we can do. And I'm, I'm passionate about this. So I love sharing this stuff. Absolutely. Um, my sponsor with um, the company, Chelsea has a question for you, Chelsea. I'm assuming knowing what um, Jody just talked about and knowing your backstory, that it might be a private question, but if you want to get that typed out real quick before we end the before we end this, then I can ask her. Otherwise, um, I have tagged her so you can send her a message. Uh, Megan says, best energy of your life. Absolutely. Megan's got yeah. some amazing gut health recovery testimony that's coming out on this. And you're right, Megan, it is the best. Marcus, I've noticed my energy, stamina, and sleep are amazing. Yeah. Um, I also did a call the other day about um, increasing T levels. So uh, there was a sixty, there was a study done, and there was a sixty-one percent sperm count increase just by being right. on fulvic acid. Right, your healthy yeah. cells are going to create oxygen. Oxygen is going to create healthy cells, and it's going to clear out. And um, uh, what's that word for cell death? For what? Cell death. Oh, apoptosis. Yes. Um, so it's just an absolutely, well, more of a statement. Um, okay, go ahead, Chels. I've noticed my shoulder injury from a car accident has resolved. Marcus almost died in um, a car accident. Thank goodness my husband um, trusted me years ago. He's 55 and on no pharmaceuticals. Way to go, Shay. Oh my gosh, I'm off blood pressure meds and I sleep eight hours. I took my dad to a holistic doctor that says dementia is type three diabetes. Yes, Cheryl spoke on that on another live that I did. Right. Um, it goes hand in hand, apparently. Absolutely. Again, yeah. oxygenation, um, decalcification, 
cleaning those blood cells, cleaning right. the, you know, the cells within the brain and the body, if it can pass the blood brain barrier, you guys were unlimited here and how we can help people. Okay, so I need to end this. Um, if you're interested in purchasing fulvic acid or any of the other products, please get back to whoever invited you to this video, tag them below or, or share it with them and say, okay, how can I get more information on this? Um, if you're interested in the, um, the business side of this and sharing the information with others, we've got an entire team um, you know, that can help you get started. It's pretty easy. It's just, hey, can I share some information about Fulvic with you? And if they say, no, that's okay. You just go to the next person. I mean, that's really all I do all day long. So reach out again to whoever shared this with you to say, hey, I would like to share this with my own network. Um, and if you just want more information on the Fulvic, we've got papers on that. We've got scientific studies. Jody, I can't thank you enough for number one, your bravery in stepping up. Thank you. Um, thank you. I uh, love the fact that you're like ready to go. You're ready to step into your power and you've cleaned out some of those negative energies that right. have been holding you, you know, back. Ab you see me pulling out my chakras cleaning those out <laughs> oh, absolutely all right yes, you guys. thank you thank you have a great day everyone thank you all bye-bye bye, -bye. All right. bye.